Okay, Christmas and expectations. <laughs> You're welcome. I was thinking the other day that, you know, expectations often are like this wonderful movie in our heads. And in this movie, we have cast the actors, we have written the script and the plot, and it's all just so perfect. It's a blockbuster, actually, in the making. <laughs> And then when we get to the Christmas event and occasion and with family and friends, the actors don't show up for work. And if they do show up for work, they don't show up when we said they should in our movie. And they don't say the lines we've put in their mouths in the way that we've determined in our movie that they should. And you know, these stealth expectations, that's what they are, are the worst kind. Because though they are stealth expectations, we still hold people accountable for them, which is the definition of setting ourselves up for disappointment and uh, upset and confrontation even. So my advice for you at Christmas is um, dial down the expectations, get rid of the blockbuster movie in your head and get a cheaper version <laughs> and you might have a better outcome because to expect less is to finish up being pleasantly surprised, isn't it? To expect too much is to finish up inevitably managing disappointments and discouragement. So um, we are not responsible for the movie in your head and others aren't for a movie in your head. So maybe you can get rid of the movie, get a reality check. <laughs> maybe that'll help you have a better experience at Christmas. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Hope that helps.